is first of all that I think there's a hierarchy of equipment. So the reality is that most people, both state actors and non-state actors in the world, would ideally like to buy American equipment because the equipment is regarded as pretty good even if some of us in the US might feel differently. Um, it's regarded as long wearing, good servicing, etc, etc. So it's desirable. So if a group or a state is not getting weaponry from the United States of America, that might in and of itself be a problem for them. But the second dimension is, if we had a meaningful global system of regulation of the arms trade, of when you can and can't sell weapons to certain states, to certain groupings, then it would actually be impossible for others to sell to those people. So the question is based on the reality that the international regime that does exist through the International Arms Trade Treaty, regional pacts and even national laws are simply not being enforced properly. So what is required is the proper enforcement of rigorous and effective arms control laws.